Hello there guys, today we are looking at a little different end game. We are racing pawns, we get two steps away and black is also two steps away from promoting to a queen. So the question is, how are we winning this as white? Are we just uh, promoting a queen each and then try to win or are we trying to do something else to stop this pawn? Well, you can Check this one out on your own. Post the video and analyze. And see if you can find out how white wins this in the end. Go ahead. All right. Welcome back. So before I tell you the right answer, of course, we're going to look at some uh, different options. Let's see what happens if we just pure and simple promote to a queen each like this. Then white has some options. He can attack with a uh, check here. Black will play king c4 to get away from other checks from this uh, knight. Then we can uh, use this knight as a check, maybe on d2 or on e3. But in both cases, black will simply play king d3, and we're really running out of checks. Uh, now we are attacking this uh, knight, which is not protected. So maybe it is better to check here and then try something like this to uh, pin this uh, knight. But it's not winning. Black can simply play queen a4 and uh, pin this knight back. And we will just end up in a draw. Try something like this and can simply just exchange as black and of course this will be winning for black <clears throat> so that's not a good option for white let's uh, see some other options uh, after we take queen each like this white has a better move right away right away playing knight c6 pinning this knight and see what happens then Black will again play queen a4, pin back. Now white can check. You see, cannot back down with the king, then this one will be uh, taken. But actually, this is good enough for black to keep a draw. He can sacrifice another, another knight like this. But we all know two knights versus a lone king is not winning. It can be winning when black has one pawn like this, but then we have to have the king into a corner somewhere and force him to play a tempo move with the with the pawn. But this is not the case. This king is too far out. We will start running the pawn. We will have to take it sooner or later, and we will end up in a draw with only two knights against the king. So, of course, there are many other. Uh, Variations to look at with queen each, but they all lead to a draw. So that's not the right answer. The right answer to start with is straight away knight c6. This is the key move for white to win this with the plan that if black ignores this uh, knight and play a2, we can simply take here on d4. And we threaten the fork here if back promotes to a queen. If he promotes to a knight, well, that's not going to do him any good. Then we just will run our own pawn, get a queen. And of course, this knight will not be helpful enough in the end. <clears throat> and if black takes our knight, well, look at this. He ends up in the, this diagonal, which means we will get a queen and uh, check back from behind and cover on a1. <clears throat> so we cannot take here and then try something like this. We are still threatening uh, fork if something happens. And if we place king c4, well, we just play knight to c2. We will put it on a1 and then we will promote our own pawn to a queen. So. <clears throat> After we play knight c6, black is more or less forced to take this with his own knight. And of course, natural next move is just to get our own pawn. We want to get a queen. 
see black cannot go to a2 now we will just get a queen and we will cover down on a1 so he will try something else we'll try this move now he will block this diagonal and do, do it with a tempo move because this is a check natural move for white now king e6 try to stop this and get away from more checks basically okay now black has some options but the quickest one is of course the biggest threat is a2 he wants to get his own queen what happens now what happens if we promote well this is not giving us anything black will promote also again we can take in a piece but of course then we're left with a knight on our own after exchange so it's not good enough and start checking well we are not getting anywhere you can see this black can escape and we are queen each so that's a draw for sure <clears throat> we have to do something else here and of course we play knight to d2 again if black promotes we have another little fork here and we will take back so after knight d2 look at this let's see first what happens black has mainly three options uh, knight c6 with the intention of uh, checking here and then promoting so if we promote now it's just a draw because black will answer with this check, get his own queen, and we will end up in this uh, even endgame. So, but it's pretty easy to defend against this. Of course, we just go on with our plan. We check here. He's attacking our knight, and then we put it on a1. This pawn cannot be stopped, and it's an easy win for white. So... Knight c6 looks pretty good, but it's really not. It's easy to defend against. What about knight f3? That looks more interesting. Just, just sacrificing a knight like this. If we take it, well, then black will promote. He will cover our uh, a, h8 square, and black will win this. <clears throat> so, of course, we do the same. Uh, knight b3 check but then if he attacks here look at this now we cannot put the knight on a1 because we have a check here and he will take our knight our pawn on a7 so after this king b4 we are just uh, forced to promote and really sacrifice our knight but even this, it's uh, it's pretty easy to win this in the end. Uh, it's uh, two pawns and the knight, but the queen is just too good. The plan is we can either put a queen on a1 first or start going with our king. Let's do some quick moves to see what happens. The point is we want to put our queen on a1 to really stop. This pawn is just too far away. It will not happen anything here. But instead, black can try to fence our queen in with his knight either to go here or to go here. And they are both very interesting, but winning for white. Let's uh, look at this first. Uh, King, I mean, knight uh, c4 and wants to go to b2. Then we have this classic, actually, endgame uh, position. We check right away. And you see here, he's uh, trying to protect his knight. And of course, this doesn't really give anything. Then we can play king, knight, I mean, queen d4, cover here, and we will take this in the next move. And if instead, black just sacrifices his knight to get his own queen, this is a classic position. We simply take it, we allow the queen, we check here on d2, we get two options for black, either he goes here, then it's a checkmate in two moves. 
or it goes to b1 and this position just king b3 we've seen this before the queen here is not good enough he will lose in a couple of moves we are threatening checkmate here on uh, c2 and if the queen goes away too far we can check here and then go back uh, or check here first it's this is mate in a couple of moves actually so here knight c4 is not good enough what about knight b1 he wants to put the knight here and get a queen inside well we don't want to allow him to play knight c3 so we simply play king d4 and now he can start running with his pawn but as i said it's just too far away this is winning fairly quick as white now we got our king in position we don't need a queen on a1 anymore we can put it on d4 we will have a check here let's uh, just see what happens if we start running his pawn check might try king b2 we get another check cannot put it here it's just uh, not good to uh, to fence uh, to put himself in the corner like this queen a1 g2 king c2 and it will be a checkmate or king a3 then play king c4 we threaten checkmate here even though we are allowing a uh, a pawn promotion here it's not it's not winning or even draw for black we can try another check but yeah let's take it let's allow this uh, promotion we've seen it before it's a checkmate something like this okay so that was very long variations but they were needed to uh, be shown what happens start already from here this one we were looking at knight c6 and then we were looking at knight f3 knight f3 for sure uh, needs uh, white to bring out his a game but also the simple king b4 that's the final variation of this uh, study. What happens then? Now he just blocks our knight to come to b3. And the question is, how do we win this as white? You can pause the video again if you need. Okay, finally, here we are allowing. We are allowing black to get a queen like this. And yes, now we're actually pawned down, but we are still winning very, very simple with the move queen b8 check look at this one two three four five different responses for black obviously this is losing right away like this this is losing right away with a fork so black is forced to the a the a file well king a3 is not good enough checkmate right away and if it goes to uh, this or this well it's simple check and we win the queen this also allows us if we want to get a fork like this but the queen is lost or it's going to be checkmate so white wins in the end after all so i hope you followed all through the different variations here they were not easy but we start with uh, knight c6 and then we just go from there thank you for watching this i hope you enjoyed it have a great day bye bye